Simon, I want to ask you about different aspects of the game and who you think was the best in each. Who was the best driver? Well, I'm, I, although he wasn't uh, uh, powerful, I, I think Nick Price, uh, the sound off the club and, and, and the, the amount of fairways he hit and, and the shape that he hit and the, and the trajectory that he hit, I think, I think I'd, I'd like Nick Price to drive. If I went for my life, I'd, I'd get Nick Price to drive. Although it's a pity he didn't have another 30 yards. Fairway wood player? Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to go with, uh, I think I'll go with Hale Irwin. Long Iron? Long Iron is Weisskopf and, uh, and Nicholas. Mid Iron? Mid Iron's, I'm going to go back to, uh, I'm going to go back to Hale Irwin. Short Irons? Now you've got the Trevinos and you've got, uh, um, Gary, Gary Player. Yeah, those two, I think. The best chipper? Frosty and Ray, and Ray Floyd. Uh, David Frost and Ray Floyd. I don't think I've ever played a round of golf with Frosty. We hadn't chipped it in. Chipped in every, every day he goes out, he chips it in. But Ray Floyd was also, his uh, mechanics wasn't that good, but he chipped it he chipped stone dead every time. Every time. Out of bunkers? Uh, now you've got, uh, you've got, to pick between Player and Tony Johnson. Now, I think if you if you if you go with the two, where you, they call it the up and downs, I think Player was better than Johnson. But if you measured out of the trap, who was closest? I think I'd take Tony Johnson. But uh, Player and Johnson. But you always said that you were better than Johnson. Yeah, but I told him that. Yeah, you know, just to, you know. <laughs> of course, I told him I was better at everything. What do you think? <laughs> Putting. Oh, well, the master was the best. Bobby Locke was the best putter I ever saw. Even, even when I played with him when he was old, he was still the best, best putter I ever saw. By a mile. I'm now going to give you a few names and I want you to say the first thing that comes to your mind. Gary Player. Uh, determination. Harold Henning. Your talent. Talented. Arnold Palmer. Uh, he's, he's, the, he's, the, he's the king, he's the most popular guy in the world. I just, the word popular popped into my head. He's, uh, he's the king. Jack Nicklaus. Course management. Papa Sagolam. Um, taught me how to play bunkers, Papua. Uh, wasted. And that's like he was, uh, he, didn't, he, didn't get, he didn't get a proper chance. Papua should have been given more chance. Lee Trevino. Lee Trevino, that's 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 a conversation. <laughs> Bobby Cole. Coley, uh, pretty swing, just uh, very very also very very talented uh, swinger. Uh, he, he's an underachiever. Johnny Muller. Johnny Muller is flash. I mean, he's uh, he was when he was hot. He was hot. He was very very hot. He was. Uh, Probably the hottest golfer when he was on for a period of time. For, you know, for shooting low rounds. And Ernie Else. Ernie Else, uh, um, well, he's big, the big easy. I mean, he's just laid, laid back is what it is. Dennis Hutchinson. Hutch old, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Older than dirt, eh, Dennis. No, uh, Dennis, Dennis is, is, a, is, a, is a father figure. He is a father figure. Glenn? Um... Blandy, um, back pocket day. Got to, every time you think of Blandy, it's the back pocket day. That's why they call him crime, you know, because crime doesn't pay. Eh? Simon, tell us a story about that guy riding his bicycle in Zambia. Oh, yeah, this, well, he had his mate on the back of the bicycle. And uh, <laughs> they come over, there's a, there's a railway line over the bridge over a, over a, over a railway line. And at the end of there is very shortly there was traffic lights, T-junction. And these two guys, I'm standing on the side there, and they come over this hill. And uh, they're, but they're going, uh, and they can see the traffic light is still green, but uh, so they, he chovers, he starts, to, he starts to ride his bicycle quicker so he can make the green light. And 20 yards away it goes amber, and of course 10 yards away it's, it's red. And the trucks are coming up and down like it. And as he hits the T junction, he's, he's got no bells or whistles to, to blow, so he just shouts, puts his hands in the air like that, and shouts, Accident! and drives straight into the truck. 
They were very lucky they hit the truck and bounced back. The uh, bicycle went under the truck, but they were okay. Well, there are only a couple that I can actually tell you, otherwise they'll take away the television license. But I do know that we were doing the U.S. Senior Open one time, and Simon Hobday was in the lead. He came into our ESPN announce booth, and he was biting down on the towel. He was so nervous whether his lead would hold up or not. Also, we were doing the old GTE West Classic at the Ojai Valley Inn and Country Club, where they shot part of the movie Chinatown with Jack Nicholson. And Simon went to the restaurant at the Ojai Valley Inn and Country Club on a Saturday. And he had loafers and no socks and a pair of shorts and a golf shirt on. And he got to the maitre d' at the front of the restaurant. And the maitre d' said, Mr. Hobday, I'm sorry, but you cannot come in unless you're wearing a tie. So Simon went back to his suitcase and found a tie and went back to the restaurant at the Ojai Valley Inn and Country Club wearing a tie, only a tie. Life's been good. Yeah, life's been good, yeah. It's, uh, it's good. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't change it for anything. Any regrets? Well, um, I, would, uh, I, I would, if I did over, I wouldn't smoke. But uh, other than that, n not too many, eh? Not too many regrets.